This is an Ann Terry's SCT Focal Reducer and Corrector. Um, it says F6.3, and that's if you use it with an F10 SCT telescope, commonly like the big LX200 Meads or the Celestrons. Um, it'll reduce the you know, F10 down to F6.3. So this basically means it makes your field of view wider, um, so it puts more light onto the same area on your camera imaging sensor. And these are used primarily um, for astrophotography. You could use it for visual if you're trying to get a bigger field of view, um, but primarily they're used for astrophotography. So you add this to your imaging train, after the telescope and before your imaging sensor um, and that will allow you to take photographs um, either the same exposure you'll get more light or a shorter exposure to get the same amount of light. Um, so you can either take photographs faster if you need to counteract things like field rotation or tracking errors or you know wind movements, things like that. Or you can take um, images with the same exposure but get a lot more light and so you have higher quality images. So it also increases the field of view and that's important if you're trying to capture larger deep sky objects. Now I bought this used and it has some stuff on the lens there. The cleaning solution and some microfiber cloth got rid of whatever was on the lens. So although it looks to be about the size of a T-tube threading, this is not T-tube threading. So it's also not threaded to screw into the bottom of a 2 inch eyepiece. It's not a filter. So this has standard SCT threading on the front and the back and so it's going to basically put attached to the back of your telescope and anything that come would normally attach to the back of your telescope um, attaches to it. So it's meant to attach to the back of an SCT tube telescope like this. Now I have a electronic focusing system on the back of mine so I'm going to have to take that out first. So on my Mead I have this electronic focuser and the back of my telescope has really big threads and there's this little adapter that brings it down to SCT and then the, S the electronic focuser screws into that. So on my telescope this guy's going to go basically right between that adapter on the back of the telescope and my electronic focuser. You really don't get a lot of choice about where this guy ends up rotation wise so you just kind of have to live with wherever it is. Alright so that's it installed just between the back end adapter of my telescope and the electronic focuser. Now it shouldn't come as a surprise that adding a focal reducer into your optical path might mess with your focus distance. So for me I found that I had to remove my um, diagonal mirror to get my camera to focus here. Um, I just couldn't turn this knob enough to focus it with the diagonal adding in the distance there. Um, now my eyepieces were able to work with the star diagonal. Um, obviously my focus point was probably a little different than before. Um, but for the camera I had to shorten up that optical path a pretty significant amount to make this work. So it's basically a straight through focal reducer focuser right to the camera. Alright, so that's how you install the focal reducer. So now I'm going to show you a picture taken without the focal reducer. Um, and then I'll show you a picture of the same area of space taken with the focal reducer. Um, and what you can see here obviously is that the field of view is larger, but also um, for the same amount of exposure time, the view should also be brighter because you're getting more light into your camera sensor in the same amount of time.